to Allentown. I uh, don't think I recorded a ton coming up here. You guys have seen most of this all anyways. I actually stopped at the shop last night. I came up and jumped off 81 and ran up to the shop and parked in there. Uh, I've been getting, the other mechanic has been calling me, asking me how to get things apart. And they've been working on that transmission. And I thought, you know, I'm just gonna stop in there and deal with it. So I stopped in there and I was gonna change the input shaft around on the transmission and uh, do all that, get that done. Maybe even install the transmission. And I took apart the input shaft and everything and the boss got all the wrong stuff. The wrong input shaft. He did get the right clutch fork, which the kit comes with the, with the clutch fork, but they told him that it didn't come with it and he ordered it. Well, it does come with the clutch fork, but it came with the old one, old style, because it's the wrong style. Because uh, the input shaft's wrong, everything's wrong. So I was like, whatever. So I took off out of there and I actually uh, went over to the yard, just went to sleep. Look at all these trucks just sitting in here sleeping. He, he wanted me up here first thing this morning and I told him, ah, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm going to be late. Um, you come in here on Monday mornings, it's just nuts in this place. So, I was like, forget it. I'm going to come in here later. to that gate. I gotta go give this guy's paperwork. Alright guys, we are empty. Empty, empty, empty here in Orfield. Cold storage in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And we are off for New Jersey. I guess I have to run over to New Jersey and pick up a load there, and that load is coming back to Costco. Ooh, I don't know what that was. Oh, I know what that was. That was a tool that I ordered for the shop to uh, push out the brake bushings. So, and it's sitting on the shelf as I opened a package just looking at it. We're gonna just head over there. It is 70 miles over there. We'll run over, get loaded, and then uh, run back to Frederick. And um, shut down for the night. Probably go to the shop. Probably work some. Um, installing um, Their older Corvette, installing a, um, installing that, um, I can't even think right at this moment, uh, input shaft and that transmission, maybe get that all, so I'll get, maybe get ready for the transmission to go in, I doubt if I'll have time to mount the, the put the transmission in, I, I don't know, I'm kind of actually hoping the other mechanic will go in there and do something, so, uh, driving around all day long doing this and that and then end up having to work all night. It's kind of a pain in the butt. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But then definitely tomorrow I'll be delivering the Costco load and then I guess running to the shop and then get that transmission mounted into black trucks so I can get back into the black truck. And then Big Blue can be all fixed up and stuff. I guess the fan clutch is gonna make it back to the shop. I don't know. I got a little problem because I just said that I don't have any fake wood in this truck. It's all plastic and stuff. And a dad. But uh, she's the uh, fan clutch is out in this truck. Starts pretty good. I 
Okay, stay green for me, would ya? I need to take this big wide swing. Oh, actually, this car is staying way back there. That's really cool, that guy. I'll see you guys over in New Jersey or something like that. We'll get in there and get loaded. And boom, boom, boom. And then head back to the yard or something. I'll catch you guys later. Well, guys, we are over here in New Jersey. And trying to find this place. Uh, it's called uh, Cleo LLC. I don't know. He said it's a real small place. I was actually supposed to be here two hours ago, but I got hung up. He said it's a small place and they could call over there and they would wait for me or something. I don't know. We're looking for Ethel, Ethel Road West. Kind of seemed to be out here in the middle of a bunch of residential stuff. Settle down there, car. Alrighty. Looks like where these buildings are up here. Looks to be like it's gonna be this road right here. something that's 151 right there nobody's behind me uh, truck 141 truck delivery okay I guess here Leo Snacks. I guess this is it. Looks to be a truck in there. I think we're just going to hang on here and go check in. Well, guys, we are loaded up. loaded up and on our way to Costco in Monrovia, Maryland. I'm not even going to go to the shop tonight or nothing. I'm just going to go straight to Costco and go to sleep for tonight. I have not been sleeping well and stuff lately, so not even going to mess with it. By the time I go to the yard, unhook the trailer, run Bob Till over there. Yeah, I'm not doing it. So, we we're just gonna head on to Costco. We got 212 miles to go. Get to Costco, and I'm just gonna go check in and go on to sleep for tonight. I'll catch you guys there. Well guys, we are empty. Empty, empty, empty here at Costco. Monavro, Monavro, Volia? I don't know how to pronounce it, something like that. Uh, Maryland, it's right down the road from uh, from Frederick. But we are empty. Got me a night of sleep here. And... I've been in that door, my pager doesn't work. They, they give you like a little pager thing. If you've ever been like a, 
a restaurant where there's a waiting list or something and there's maybe a bar or something they'll give you like a pager and you can go hang out in a bar and then you know when your table's available it bit, 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 you know tells you and all and you go up there and give them they give you your table it's kind of like that here they give you a little pager thing and I come in here all the time and it always says you know it sits there they'll tell you a dock 221 and then you go you know wait out there and there's another truck in here you gotta wait over to the side and then it'll come up and say back into dock 221 and then you'll see the other truck pulling out and it tells him to pull out my pager never went off I actually pulled up and I looked to see if the dock was open and as I pulled up they were knocking on the lady's door and telling her she was empty so I um, I just backed in and it never told me hey back into this dock or not it just says pager 50 on it that's all it says something's not working but um, they finally got to me I've been in that dock for like three hours they got to me a little while ago I only had seven pallets and um, they got me unloaded and I went to green but I didn't know if I should pull out or not <laughs> my pager never went off and finally another truck driver showed up and he was like looking at me and stuff and I went out there by him I said did your pager go off and tell you to back into 221 he's like yeah like my pager's not working I said I'm waiting for somebody to come up here and tell me to move <laughs> and I said if your pager went off I'm out so we are all done here I just got to get my little print all thing saying I accepted the load and um, we're gonna head to the new yard we actually got kicked out of our old yard right by the Super 8 there. That was actually a really nice yard. I actually, it was really good there. But uh, somebody else bought it. Somebody bought that piece of property. And um, I don't know what it sold for. I know the boss has been looking for a place. That would have actually been a really good place. You could have built a good size shop there and everything. And you could have had parking in there and stuff and charged for it, made money that way. But somebody else bought it, and it was supposed to be the end of this year that we had a yard till the end of this year. But then it got moved up. And then the last time I was out here, he was telling me, we gotta find another place, because they want us out now. And I've actually went and talked to a couple different people, different lots and stuff, trying to help them out, trying to find a place. And haven't had much luck. But he says he does have another lot that we can park at. And so he gave me the address, and I guess we're going to go over there. Well, I guess they're not going to check us out here. But um, they, um, I think it's just a temporary thing. But they, um, but he's, he's putting bids on places. There's one place that I really like a lot. And. He actually has put a bid on it. They want him to come back and pull back in. Um, but um, he has put a bid on a place, and it's I like it a lot. We'll see if, what happens with it. If he actually gets it or not, he says he's put a couple bids. He's been turned down. He keeps up. He keeps up in the bid a little bit here and there to try to negotiate with this guy. We'll see what happens there. But I guess we got a new yard. So I'm gonna go drop the trailer there. Um, I guess R67 is sitting there, and he wants me to do a quick inspection on it and um, put a list together. Anything that needs to be repaired. And then I'm going to be heading to the shop and pulling my stuff back out of Big Blue. If somebody's going to be applying here, they can drive this truck. It's a good truck. Um, needs a couple things done to it. The, cl the fan clutch, that's got to be repaired like now. I'm surprised I actually made it, guys. Um, it's got a battery cooking. I can smell it. I can smell the rotten smell. Um, we knew that one of the batteries was low. We've tested them and one battery was bad. Um, there's a couple other little things got to be taken care of, but it's a good truck, and I have to get my transmission put back into the black truck. I guess the other mechanic, he's, he's not doing it at all. So I guess I got to jump on that, take that over.
Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, I, but this Costco, because I mean, you go down to Dallas and stuff, there's a guy actually sitting out there in the morning. You stop, he comes running down there and starts yelling at you and everything. You can't park in the driveway like this at all. You can pull up, close your doors, and then you gotta go. And he's out there just yelling and yelling. These guys out here, they just line the driveway. They can get really crowded out here too. No, no. And that guy there has got all his curtains closed up. He's sleeping right there. That guy's not in his truck. Not in the driver's seat. Got Swifty here. That guy's not in his, in his driver's seat. Got the old Swifty in front of me here. They uh, they run dedicated out of there. They run dedicated Costco loads. There was probably about, I don't know, probably about eight or 10 Swift trucks all sitting in there. They actually leave their trucks in there. The, guy, the drivers do, they park their trucks in there and then that's where they come out of this guy here probably is going to get something to eat or something. So, I'm gonna run it to the new yard, I guess. It's right down the road from the old yard. And um, the boss said it's by his bank. I don't know. He gave me the address. I kind of have an idea where it is and stuff. I kind of getting to know Frederick pretty good. But uh, I'll run over there, drop this trailer, inspect the R67. I guess a uh, driver complained that the brakes are not holding or something. He's tried to slide his tandems and the uh, brakes do not hold. This uh, Swift guy's a pretty slow going bobtail, don't you think so? So I gotta look at it and see what's going on, see if the brakes are worn or what. And um, make a list of that and then back to the shop I go. So I hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day, great night. You can watch this here video. If you're not, certainly just try that all over again tomorrow. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.